Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good. And I know, I know, I, I haven't recorded a video in, in a few weeks, and everyone's a little bit pissed off at me, and I apologize. Uh, I, I got all of your personal messages and everything like that, and I, I do appreciate them. It, it means a lot. Like I said last time I did this, um, I'm glad you people give a fuck enough to bother sending me personal messages when I when I don't record a video. It, it actually is meaningful. It, it's the only reason, quite frankly, I, I turned on the camera today. Uh, otherwise, I uh, wouldn't have fucking bothered. I, I, I guess recently I've just lost interest in, in the uh, popular topics within the atheist community here on YouTube. Um, there was that whole thing with Thunderfoot, and, and that was like the the big discussion here on YouTube for a long time. And that discussion is inevitably going to breed the topic that I hate more than any other topic, and that is, when does atheism become similar to dogma, right? Which it never fucking does, ever, under any circumstance. So it always makes my fucking brain explode when I have to watch a group of my, my intelligent atheist peers fucking, you know judging each other like, well, you're a little bit closer to being dogmatic than I am. You're a stupid atheist. I, I just get so tired of that. And it really made my dick soft. And, and I decided, fuck it, I, I'm done for a couple weeks. And then recently I went out of town. So that was that. Um, that that's it. That's my reason. I don't really have a good reason. But that is what happened. And to uh, Dark Matter 2525... I apologize. Before I left, I told you that I was going to do some audio clips for you, and I fucking forgot to do it before I went out of town. So, Dark Matter, my bad. If you still need me to do that, I'm still on board. I'll do that. But, I, you know, I'm a fucking hippie. I'm a fuck up. And I forgot to do it, okay? I apologize. So, if you still want me to do that, I will. Um, last thing I'll babble about before I get to what I want to discuss in this video, down below I will link a video by OG Jimbo, which was actually one of the first videos I watched today when I got home, um, and he's done a drawing of me, uh, set to music, it's really fucking cool, I thought it was awesome, everybody go holler at OJ Jimbo or OG Jimbo or whatever the fuck, sorry I'm a hippie once again, and, um, sub his channel. He makes pretty cool fucking videos. Especially the one about me. That was my favorite. I, I don't know what you guys might like, but the one about me, it's pretty much my fucking favorite video. Now, on to what I wanted to discuss. Before I left, before I went out of town, I, I, I was paying attention to uh, the, what, what, what was the popular topic on YouTube before I left, and that was the whole true forced loneliness crowd and a couple people did videos Vogter did one scouts caspa several other fucking people have have addressed um the the tfl movement as they call it here on youtube now I, i'd like to do the same thing um and, and there's, there's a couple thoughts i have floating around in my head number one as you all well know I, i'm skeptical when i hear the word truth okay anytime i hear the word truth or any variation of that fucking word in the title of someone's name or channel or movement, I'm immediately skeptical and I'm immediately on guard because what I what I feel like I'm getting ready to hear is a whole lot of bullshit. Anytime the word truth is attached to a name of anything. The first thing I notice about most people who include the word truth in, in their usernames and channel titles is that these people are generally operating in a way that leaves the viewer with the impression that they're trying to spread a very important message. They're trying to spread knowledge uh, of some sort of vital knowledge that everyone needs, everyone needs, right? They're, they're spreading information that is of great importance and everyone needs to hear it. And if you don't hear it, you're at risk in some way, shape, or form. This goes for the religious, um, this goes for the NWO, the 9-11 truthers crowd, and um, it, it goes for TFL as well. Um, the, the thing about these groups is that they're always the first, pardon me, <coughs> um, 
to censor their channels. They're always the first to block the opposition. Like when someone opposes this great idea that they're trying to spread around, they're always the first to block people from their channel, remove comments, and, and basically keep people from getting the information, right? Or, or do their best to keep from having to have open discussions about the information they're trying to spread, which leads me to believe that they're not really interested in educating people. They're, they're interested in um, suckering in a, a, a bunch of heartbroken, lonely, rejected individuals um, and, and just kind of sucking them into their little group and, and stroking each other's dicks. Right? It's just like its own little religion where, well, if you don't fit here, maybe you'll fit over here with us, right? Uh, you'll fit over here. It's like a high school cafeteria, right? If you can't sit with the jocks, if you can't sit with the cheerleaders, if you can't sit over there with the goth kids or whatever whatever it is, come over here and, and sit with uh, the science club or the chess club. We'll all hang out. We'll play chess. And we'll talk about how nobody understands us and how everybody hates us. And that's basically what, what TFL is, right? It, it's a group, in my estimation, they, they seem to be dedicated to um, how much everyone else looks down upon them and rejects them and, and treats them like shit. But at the same time, their message is, they have, from what I can tell from the videos I've watched, Dwayne or Bill, if you watch my video, please correct me. But from what I can tell, it seems that one of your messages to the TFL crowd is just to give up. Give up hope. Stop trying to develop a meaningful relationship with another individual. Don't do that. Just give up because there's no hope for you. There's no hope for you at all. So it, it, that's the message that Dwayne actually tried to spread in a video that I will link below. And he basically said, give up. That's why Bill said, give up. Um, yeah, you know. So who's forcing the loneliness, you or, or the world around you? I think that that very clearly demonstrates who's forcing you to be lonely, and that's you. I, I mean... And, you know, you're angry at the dating scene. You're angry at shallow people. You're, you're angry that, that people have standards, right? That people want to fuck people who they feel are the most attractive people that they can fuck. Right? And this, for whatever reason, really irks you. Uh, but that, it's a harsh fact of life, Bill and Dwayne, that you have to, you have to punch your weight in the dating game. And, and that's just the way that it is. I do, you know, I, I, you know, I, I've been with, with several women, you know, I'm not the best looking guy in the fucking world, but I've had several relationships, one very long term, I've been married, um, I, I mean, I've been there, but the, I mean, for fuck's sake, people have standards, I want to have sex with the most attractive woman possible, the, and that sort of thing, it, it's a harsh fact of life that, um, if you're not Brad Pitt, you, you might get rejected a little bit. Fucking deal with it, like the rest of us do. And stop fucking whining, honestly. It's not the world's problem that you get rejected. Um, it, it's, it really is yours. I, I don't think you want to punch your weight, to be honest. I, I don't think you want to date within uh, your, your class. And I'm sorry, but th that exists. That people have standards. Um, and we all have one thing in common, and that's that we want to fuck the most attractive people we can get our hands on. And that's it. Punch your weight. That's all I can tell you in that department. Now, now, if your theory is that there, there's some sort of, like, media conspiracy to, to condition people to find certain things attractive, I, I disagree with that 100%. I think that's bullshit right from the get-go. The media and advertisements and things like that don't have as much control over the population as you think. The idea of an advertisement or, or, or any sort of publication like Playboy, right, is to appeal to what's already in demand. It's to appeal to what's already popular, what people already desire. This isn't some type of, like, mental conditioning, okay? Bill Hicks, the comedian, said it best when he said, um, Playboy does not cause 
certain types of sexual thought. Sexual thought already exists. Therefore, there is Playboy. I know you guys are really, really tired of hearing that it's all your fault and that you're trying to blame other people for your shortcomings, but that's exactly what's going on. Just go get out there, punch your weight, find a nice, semi-ugly, conspiracy, 9-11 truth girl, walk her up and down the beach and trade conspiracy theories. Live happily ever fucking after. I promise you, the world around you is not responsible for your self-inflicted loneliness. Well, that's all. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.